It's hard to believe it's been 40 years since 80s new wave pop band Heck Up 100 uh, first burst onto the music scene with their debut album, Pelican West. And still looking fresh faced after all this time, they are back to celebrate their special anniversary. But before we chat to Nick, Les, Graham, and Blair, let's take a little trip down memory lane. Now, Haircut 100's guitarist Graham Jones, lead singer Nick Hayward, drummer Blair Cunningham, and bassist Les Neems. Morning to you. All. Good morning. Oh, lovely morning. To see you. Welcome. Good morning. Welcome. Do you know, to, I've got to start with last time we saw you. I think was in our in forest. our forest. Yeah, wasn't yeah, the I've got forest. To start yeah, with this um, because uh, it's this is really impressive. <laughs> it's huge. It's heavy. It's <laughs> like a a work of art. So. How many tracks have you got? There's interviews oh. and goodness knows what. Yeah. All on vinyl. How many tracks have you well, got? Well, it's four, four CDs or four vinyl. Mm -hmm. So um, there's Pelican West, the original. There's a live album coming out as well. There's B-sides and then there's outtakes and remixes. It's got to be... Yeah. 50? It's pretty, pretty much everything. Pushing 50, yeah. So the stuff that was... At the, at the time that Pelican West was released, there were other things as well that what didn't make it on. And yeah, you've included... they're all on there. And but you're saying them. that some of that was even were your best stuff. Yeah, yeah it was just yeah. our work in progresses and they're all shared. Well, yeah. it's so nice to have that there. Does it, does it feel like 40 years? Feels longer. <laughs> no. 140. No, don't say that. Because what's lovely about you guys is that you were you were, I mean you weren't school friends, but you all knew each other from the neighbourhood at the time. So yeah, been... we we lived together. We lived yeah. together above a flower shop in Gloucester Road, and so we lived and breathed the band, didn't we? It was we a did, little bit used, like sorry. sorry. We used to hang around in, in Beckenham, which was uh, one of the places where yeah. we, our formative years, and we were sharing records with each other and. Yeah. Doing our, uh, I met, I met Jonesy outside the Wimpy Bar. <laughs> <laughs> and it was full punk gear because it was a clash band. Amazing. <laughs> had, you had you just both split up with girlfriends at the time? All of us All at the same us. time. The whole lot. That That's why the band focused. Incredible. Do yeah. they get a mention, a little thank you on the. Well, thank you for dumping yeah. us. <laughs> <laughs> we made that. Alison Blower, thank you very much. Laura. <laughs> <laughs> Who was it? We must it was move on. Jill, was it? Jill. Yeah. 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 <laughs> God, you're naming them. Jill is yeah, heartbroken course. again. She is up. <laughs> um, there is a, a tour. You're looking forward to, to a new tour and performing again? Yeah, big tour, isn't it, Jonesy? Yeah, probably in the autumn, hopefully, once we get things arranged. Yeah. But what's what must be really satisfying? Because I mean, we've <coughs> met so many bands who've been, you know, sort of around in the day, then uh, either didn't enjoy it so much or things went wrong, and I know that you were let down by a management company, all that sort of stuff, and yeah. then come back together and enjoy it so much more mm. when they come mm. back. Your gig, I think, in uh, Shepherd's Bush, sold out in two hours. Yeah. That's uh, got to feel great. There's something yeah. written, it's in the stars or something this time. <laughs> this time, and we're, we're in it for life now, aren't yeah. we? Yeah, yeah, I think we're in the right space at the yeah. moment. Yeah, everything so just seems good. to be falling into place naturally yeah. at the moment. But, uh, Les, you get quite emotional, don't you? I did you? get quite emotional. <laughs> we did a BBC thing a couple of, well, last week, I think it was, and I was just watching the orchestra. They had a string orchestra walk, warming up to, to uh, practising their parts of Love Plus One. And I started welling up. Yeah. Did you? Oh, what is happening? I've yeah. never but seen him well up. Uh, never, I've never. Well, I'm that. hard. I'm <laughs> hard. <laughs> <laughs> and also, um, it's the, the, the stuff, the stuff that you um, that you find, um, Blair, is that uh, Taylor Hawkins, the late Foo Fighters drummer, was a massive fan of. of yeah, I, just, I found out. And... That's right. I, I saw his, uh, his, his a clip on his theme, and they asked him about. Um, so who who do you influenced by? And he just came out and goes. On haircut 100, and went. Oh. <laughs> That's amazing. You just yeah. never know. Do you I just know? don't know. Cool. Um, Somebody's out there listening. Yeah, yeah without, <laughs> without many doubt. people. <laughs> and um, all your friends from Cornwall are listening too. Yeah. So, how much time do you spend down in Cornwall? Uh, well, I live there. Are you down there now? I'm what north, else? north coast, fourth town. Are you? Oh, oh you yeah. lucky so, thing. Yeah. Been nice down so I've come up especially, especially to see you. 
Well, well yeah. we appreciate it. Could have brought me a pasty. <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> oh, I got licked by a seagull outside. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. Uh, this right, is the here album. you go. This is the one. It's Pelican a beauty. 40, and that's, that's out now.